Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just make sure everything is on board. Okay, I see YouTube is not on board yet. Let's see what we can do about that. Sorry guys, just one second. Today I'm flying solo with no technical team, so I kind of like have to figure this out by myself. Hey guys, you you guys came in very fast today. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Please let me know where you're tuning in, where you where you're watching me from. Let's get going. Let's get going, let's get going, let's get going. Those of you who are on Facebook, kindly do likewise and share the live broadcast. Hallelujah. I don't know where the stream for um, YouTube is going, but uh, let's try and stick then to TikTok as much as we can. I see Namibia is in the house. Ghana is in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I'm just going to just close that YouTube stream and we're going to focus on Facebook and on TikTok today. Okay, great stuff. Okay, let me take this opportunity to welcome everybody again, everybody on Facebook as well as on TikTok. Thank you so much for joining me from Ghana, Namibia, Cape Town. I see you. Uh, Judith from Johannesburg. Middleburg is represented. Maryland is represented. Represented, Cockstad is represented, Johannesburg is represented, Botswana, everybody from every country is represented in Jesus' mighty name. I hope that you have been sharing the live broadcast and you are making sure that we're going to have a good discussion today. So as usual, I'm going to kick off and just give a background a bit to everything that uh, we are going to be talking about. Okay. So we're going to have a background discussion. Durban, welcome, welcome. Thank you to everybody who's sharing the live, guys. You are amazing. Hallelujah. Today, I thought we will have a discussion around focus on unemployment. Then we're going to also have some prayers at the end of the discussion. We're going to pray because a lot of people are under pressure. There's a burden that has been in my spirit uh, concerning the issue of employment. Okay. You know, um, one thing that I've realized is that when we are when you are going through a season of unemployment and you are feeling all those financial pressures, um, it's important that you, you, you remain in the promises of God. Hi, God's grace. God bless you. Thank you so much for those who are already gifting. Thank you so much. So it's very important that we focus on the promises of God. So I want to talk to those people who are who have been unemployed. I know that we've gone through a very difficult season in our lives. All of us, in actually, in every country, COVID brought about such a, uh, you know, sort of like an upside down turnaround for businesses. People lost their businesses. People lost their jobs. Um, everybody can hear me very well, right? Ethiopia, I see you. Thank you so much. So if if you are one of those people that have been going through a season of unemployment and maybe you are employed, I want you to take this opportunity tonight that we're going to pray for those who are unemployed, okay? We're going to pray for uh, intervention and we're going to have an open discussion and see. And I'm relying on everybody um, who is in the broadcast because I know there's some life coaches, there's some business coaches, there's some people who are qualified in different respects. Maybe you are even in an HR position. So the whole point of uh, Wednesday evening discussions are not only that we pray, or identify the issues that are a problem, but we we seek to find solutions. Those of you who it's your first time coming on to the Wednesday uh, evening discussion, our first discussion, for example, that we had um, was around issues of um, financial management, whether or not were we managing our finances very well. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. Good afternoon, everybody who's just joining. Guys, if you're just joining, we're talking about unemployment. Please help me put it in the comment section for everybody who's coming in. Uh, just say the focus is on unemployment today. Um, so we realize that in many ways we can be asking and praying for financial breakthroughs, but God trusts a person um, you know, with, with finances, when he can see that you will be able to handle those finances and he moves you to a different dimension. He moves you to the next level. Um, 
you know, where, you know, sometimes you are, you are praying for bigger monies or whatever, but God wants to see whether you are going to be a good steward and whether you're not, are you going to use your finances for the kingdom accordingly? And I believe that there is a strong link as well in terms of, um, the processes or, or the waiting room experience that you go through in life where you are experiencing the season where it feels like it's so dry. And I believe that it's, it's an opportunity for us to look within ourselves, to tap into, inside ourselves and say, what it is that I can do to get out of this situation? What else do I have aside from relying on anybody? One of the discussions we were having, um, you know, with uh, some of, 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 of my friends was, there are more than 7 billion people around the world and all of them are seeking employment. And amongst those 7 billion people, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure of the exact states where we are standing now, but amongst all those people, let's assume 80% are Christians, right? And all of them are looking for the same job and all different jobs. And, and let me just maybe reduce the, the number of people even. Let's say you in your city, there's over a thousand Christians that are applying for the same job. What is going to set you apart? And I think these are the questions that we really need to look inside ourselves as Christians and say, okay, what it is that I can set myself apart from other people? Yes, there's the anointing. Yes, there's the prayer part. And what else can I do? So one of the things just um, to set the tone is that we shouldn't let go of the promises of God, right? Um, the promises of God are very crucial for you, for your mental state, for your sanity. You need to always remember that there is nothing important than your faith. Your faith is very important. Um, and what does the, the type of faith that I'm talking about mean? It means that you're going to have to trust God and all that God promises to you. Amen. So Risa Fadiza says, you've been going through seven years of famine. Imagine. So are you saying you've been unemployed for seven years? I would love to talk to you. Um, when I open up the calls and you come in in the discussion, I would love to know what is going through your mindset and how you've been surviving. Okay. Um, I think all of us um, will do well in terms of understanding where you are and what do you need and how can we fill that gap? How can we intercede for you? But your faith remains a critical part that you need to trust the promises of God. And you should not doubt. And I know that we, we reinforce this sometimes. And you're probably wondering and looking at other people and saying, do they even have an understanding of what I'm going through? And some people might very well not be because they might have never been retrenched. They might have never been employed or, or unemployed or, or needed to be employed. So we are all in different spaces. Okay. Lerato, I see you. So we're going to trust God tonight. We're going to look a bit into the word of God. And we're going to really just have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion and see how we can help each other. I spoke to one uh, gentleman yesterday who sent me a WhatsApp and was saying, Pastor, since I've been unemployed, I actually went into business and I mean in the catering business, but I'm not being patronized. My, my, my business is not being patronized. So by the grace of God, looking at the time, I think I need to speed it up because I also started a bit late. I think I want to bring up people who are in businesses in different countries, in different provinces. Maybe somebody who's in the same vicinity that you're in needs to know about what you're doing so that we can help advertise and put you there, out there. And what are the other things that you can do? How do you utilize social media to maximize getting yourself out of there? Okay, so um, your faith has everything to do with it. You need to understand the promises of God for the situation that you're in and to not waver and not to shift. We need to also remind ourselves that God remains the provider of everything that we need. Um, the scripture says that let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So I think it's important that you set yourself in, in, in that mindset every single day you wake up and say, God is there for me in times of my need. I remember when, when I was retrenched, my friend said to me, wake up every single morning as if you're going to work and sit on your laptop and start applying for those jobs. Start dressing up as if you're going to work so that you 
for your own sanity wake up and do the things the way you would have been, you would have been doing as if you are going to work so that you don't um you know just lose hope I, I hope that is resonating with somebody so but one thing that you need to understand is that unemployment is not sin um it's it's not it's you've not done something wrong there are people who have sabotaged themselves maybe you didn't take your employment seriously maybe you didn't take um you know or maybe you made certain mistakes because maybe you are still immature you are still too young and all these things but there are people who genuinely um lost their jobs not through anything that they have done okay and life is real responsibilities are real um children are there they need to be taken care of one way or the other there's a financial breakthrough that is required right but i want to encourage you and say god will deliver you from any problem whether you caused it yourself or whether you didn't cause it yourself right and one of the things that we will have to deal with is the reality that we are in an industrial revolution where human beings are being replaced by machines and unfortunately some people have been caught behind right um Lorraine, a chance so that we can talk about that and and we pray with you as well so there's this part as well where we are saying machines are now replacing human beings how quickly are we adapting how quickly are you adjusting to doing what it is that you are supposed to be doing. Some people are being retrenched or they are losing their jobs because they haven't been able to keep up, right? They haven't been able to keep up with the way um, technology is evolving. To what extent do you have to take the responsibility to say, I'm going to develop myself? There are people who are saying, I don't need to learn how to use a laptop or a computer. Do we still have that luxury as a Christian, right? Um, thank you, Kolile. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Um, can can we afford not to know how to use a computer? I've got a, um, a mommy that I really love, um, one of my spiritual daughters. She's almost 80. She types so fast on WhatsApp. She can respond on WhatsApp so fast. And I think... You know, she didn't take it for granted to say my grandchildren will always be there to type for me on WhatsApp. I don't want to know. If you ask her about TikTok, she knows about it. If you ask her about that, she knows everything. So I think there's that responsibility that we need to take as individuals and we say we are going to learn. Life is changing around us and we need to keep up with the life that is changing. Amen. Okay. So... God will deliver you from any problem that you may have found yourself in. And I'm, I'm talking to those that sabotage themselves. Because sometimes you get a job and you don't really take care of it. You get late to work and, you know, um, or you speak to people in a rude manner. We need to actually take responsibility in terms of preserving what God puts for us, right? What God gives you. You need to preserve it. You, when you are working in, a, in an institution or a company, are you looking after it as if you were looking after your own thing? Right? Uh, those of you who are just walking in or, or just um, coming in into the broadcast, we are talking about un unemployment and what are the things that we need to do to change? How can we improve our chances in terms of getting employed? Is the Lord saying that you should still be going for employment or should you be going into business? Did you make any mistakes around um, how did you get to the point where you are unemployed. Um, so I'm saying that we shouldn't take things for granted. We shouldn't take things for or, or our jobs for granted, you know, and um, we need to take everything seriously. Understand that there's many people that are competing for the same job. There are many people who are even in your workplace currently, and you may feel like, oh, they are jealous of me and everything. So you always need to be on watch because somebody might be wanting to sabotage you or you might be sabotaging yourself, right? Um, you can do everything right, I know, and still get laid off. Um, but whatever it is that might have caused your employment, hallelujah. Um, some people don't work hard, but what I'm saying is that we need to look at the promises of, of God and the promises of God 
demand that you call on him there. He says, call on me on the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you will glorify me. There are people who are, for example, they are facing disciplinary hearings, for example, at the moment um, in their workplaces because of something or the other that they have done wrong. Um, and But they still need deliverance. Because, yes, they say, okay, I made a mistake. Maybe I did not meet my deadlines on time. Maybe I didn't submit my reports on time. But I need God's intervention because I didn't take my job seriously. So I believe that if you genuinely confess any wrongdoing and you humble yourself before Christ and you call upon him, he will definitely deliver you because he is a merciful God, right? We're not going to hold it against you, but it is good that we take correction and, and, and we change from those ways, right? There may be consequences from what you have done, and maybe the consequence is that you may have to lose your job. And that is the reality, that when something has not gone right, when something has not... Um, when, when, you, when you have done a certain thing, you, you may have to lose your job, right? Now I'm talking to, to, to the issue that maybe there's a mistake. There are consequences. That's why workplaces have got policies and they will tell you, okay, if you do this, this is what will happen. So, But you learn from that situation and you turn around and you develop from that aspect, right? Um, so we understand that actions have consequences, but God won't turn away from you because of that mistake. God still loves you and God wants you to re wants to restore you. If you look at the example, for example, of how Abraham, for example, lied and, and caused his wife Sarah to be taken into, uh, you know, into Pharaoh's house and everything, God still had mercy on them and he delivered Sarah. So God will deliver you, okay? Somebody just confess it there for me and say, God will deliver me. So God will bless you through the wrongs that others have done as well. So some of you, you have been done wrong in your workplaces because people lied against you. People might have done uh, dealt with you unjustly. Um, and But what I want to say to you is that do not see yourself as a victim. And sometimes these things happen so that we can break out and just stretch our minds a bit. And I'm going to challenge some people to say, what is it? What is the business that you can get into? What is the business that you can get into? What else can you do? Because the reality is, saints, not everybody's going to get the job. I don't want you to be spending the energies. Um, some people will get the jobs. Some people need to think outside the box. But God will definitely deliver you. God will make, I'm just saying, to short circuit, you, you just need to go to God with the right questions and say, God, direct me. Direct me exactly where you want me to go. And I'm, I'm happy, Jacqueline, that you've actually identified that God wants you to go into hospitality. And maybe that is the that, that is the area where we, you need to nurture yourself and to grow yourself and, and what your skills in hospitality can be. One day you might end up having a company by yourself, you know. So we must think broader. We must think outside of the box. We're going to pray. God is in complete control. God does not worry about, um, you know, unemployment figures, gross domestic product uh, figures and all these things, whatever is happening in the co economy. He controls everything, including the heart of the business owner where you might be going to look for an employment. He says in Proverbs 21, 1, he says, the king's heart is a stream of water in the hands of the Lord. He tends it wherever he wills. So it is possible that you can pray for the heart of a person who's holding a position of uh, authority in giving you a job or somebody who owns a business, that person's heart can be turned and you get your job back. Even if you lost your job, they can call you back. That is why it's important to sow good seeds at all times. Um, guys, you can bring in your questions as you are coming through um, and, and we're going to talk about stuff so that um, I can see when you guys are ready with the questions, right? God will provide the job that you need and God will definitely provide the income that you need. And that is what he promises. He says though, he says, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. And I think that is the mistake that some people do as Christians that they don't want to seek the expansion of the kingdom of God. They just want the job. There are people who just come on broadcast and they will just say, pray for me, I need a job. And that's all they're interested in. They're really 
they really don't have the heart of God. They don't really want to expand or anything else. So those are the things that we need to bear in mind and we need to look at, right? And I also wanted to remind everybody is that God has a perfect plan for each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. He's got a plan for us. Um, Lukiki, thank you so much. I, I know that. Okay. Yes. And, and that's why I'm saying that there are people in the workplaces that are actually aiming at attacking your livelihood and everything because it's rough out there. Other people are thinking, how do I take out the competition internally so that my cousin can get the job? Others are thinking about how do I get my cousin in into that job? So I'm going to sabotage the application process. These are all things that we are fighting against. And that's why your relationship, your prayer life and your preparation needs to all go hand in hand. Sometimes, um, um, apostle, you are more than welcome. You can ask a question. Sometimes, you know, we focus just on the one side and say, okay, we're going to pray for the job, but how is your preparation looking like? Did you really spend time in preparation? Because everything goes hand in hand. The expansion of the kingdom of God, your knowledge of the word of God, your prayer life, and everything needs to move in a balance. Okay. So, um, my goodness, I've got a weird sense. These family members that are just doing funny things. I beg your pardon. Um, I see. Yeah. So those of you who don't have the names who just got users, please just let me know who, what your name is when we start asking, right? Um, so it's a competition. It's, it's not a fair competition. Sometimes, sometimes it's a fair competition, but what we know is that God is able to touch the heart of the King and turn it around. Right. Um, my God, jungle, I would love to hear about that. Right. But let's understand that when we trust in the promises of God, God is in complete control. Each day you are in, you are unemployed is a day that he's still looking over you and he is going to make sure that you have meaningful activity that you are doing. Okay, guys, hold on a second because what you are saying in the comment section is very nice and um, a good point for discussion. So don't say them now. I'm going to bring you up and you're going to say them. Okay. So find out what he wants you to do and he will give you the wisdom and answer the questions that you need. And um, we need to start working our networks. There was something that my husband said uh, that was very key the other day that sometimes we neglect the issue of networking. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, king of the ropes. We, we neglect ne networking with people. We don't keep in touch with people. And then we will send them a WhatsApp and say, hey, I'm unemployed. I need a job. And I have not heard from you for six months or a year. You understand what I'm saying? Let's understand how that is coming across. And that's exactly sometimes and then we say, we feel like people don't want to help us. Good day, Jenica. Welcome, my darling. We feel like people don't want to help us, but it is, it is us who don't know how to maintain relationships. Let's talk about that. We, we, we don't maintain relationships accordingly. We just treat people anyhow. Even if it's your relatives and you know that your relative is able to um, connect you, they know somebody who knows somebody, it's all about networking. But we don't avail ourselves for that networking process because you can't shut yourself in the house or in your own home and say, I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm not going to be involved with anybody else. I'm not going to be... Um, you know, checking up on people. But yet when you are down and out, when you need help, all of a sudden you are remembering to send the WhatsApps. You have forgotten the person who helped you five years ago, 10 years ago, or who helped you last week, or you, the way you even presented your, your gratitude was so loose and careless. And you just say, Oof, you know, um, thanks, you know, and somebody has really sacrificed in making sure that they were a blessing for you. They were a blessing to you. Somebody filled up your gas, your, your fuel tank. Somebody gave you money to go to work at a, at a particular time. Good evening, Maseho. Guys, I'm sorry I came in a bit late, but um, I'm hoping that everybody will keep tapping and you'll keep on sharing the break, the, 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 the broadcast. We're talking about unemployment and, and, and the things that we, we do in terms of self-sabotaging ourselves and how can we do better? How can we prepare ourselves better to set ourselves apart? And I know one of the prayers that we say as Christians, we will say, uh, even God, will, 
it's true yes god qualifies even those who are unqualified god can open a door for you and you can land a job even though you are not qualified for that job job you're gonna have to do something to maintain yourself there to make sure that you produce to make sure that um you know you you bring your skills up to the right level right so um what is it that you have to do extra do you know where you are missing it? You've been sending out emails. You've been sending out CVs after CVs for five, seven years. There is some, did you consult somebody to say, can you look at my CV? What am I doing wrong? What, what is setting you apart from the thousands of CVs that have come in? What's going to catch that one HR specialist attention? You know, um, I think it was today I was listening to a broadcast I'm waiting for the creator to put his uh, video on YouTube and I said I'm gonna send it through to my whatsapp group and make sure that they listen to to what this this person is an HR specialist and I was listening to the points and this is exactly what I was meditating on to say we don't we don't take care we just type our things anyhow you go you walk into some internet cafe and you tell them type up my cv for me and then they type the cv if you're gonna hand in a cv and you know okay let, let's talk for example uh your linkedin profile what is on your linkedin profile do you know that employee employers also look at your social media TikTok is another game plan altogether you may do whatever and be happy and put pictures of your of your children and everything but depending on the industry that you are trying to get into you need to align yourself and understand that you need to carry yourself with a particular decorum you cannot just carry yourself anyhow right if you're applying for certain uh, you know um let me make this example again if you are going to get into trouble and you are always late on Mondays and you are always going to be absent on Mondays at work and your employer just suddenly decides to Google you and goes to your Facebook and sees that you are saying, oh, I was sloshed yesterday, you know, and I might be preaching to the converted here today, but I'm saying some people that they don't know that hr specialists do this they do investigate they want to know who are you on the social side are you telling the truth when you write the psychometric test are you lying or wh what what is the story you understand what i'm saying i hope this is helping somebody but um as i was saying networking is important you cannot just send sms's to people and say i need a job help me find a job guys it don't work like that you can ask, but and then don't just disappear. Keep in touch with people. Ask people, how are you doing? These days, data, you know, that's why, you know, it's like when you ask people, share the broadcast, it doesn't minus your data from sharing. It doesn't take away from your data to just send a WhatsApp message for, for to all your family members, to the friends, people you went to school with, how are you doing? I'm not saying be all up in their business and, and, and be bothering them every single day on anything. I just ask people for the sake of asking how their health is, is how, how good are they, right? So yes, Nari, we need correct background checks. If you're an HR specialist, please lift your hands because I'm going to ask you to come in in the box so that you can help us and tell us what are you looking for? Because it cannot be that one can remain unemployed for so long unless there's some evil manipulation that is happening behind the scenes, right? It is possible that there can be unemployed, uh, 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 evil e issues, evil spirits at work, monitoring spirits and everything. And, and that is why we are here as pastors, as prophets or whatever. And, and, and we are here to make sure we help intervene on those situations. But there is the physical, pra practical side that I'm asking us to look at and say, can we look at what, how are we packaging ourselves? What are you saying on your statuses? Are you always bad-mouthing your employer on your statuses? Are you going on Twitter, you're talking badly about people? That is not the decorum that is carried, that, that a manager, for example, needs to carry. You want to be a leader in your profession. You want to be a manager one day. You want to be a supervisor. But you are here mouthing off about your, your other co-employers. You are talking badly about them. We need to check ourselves. We need to check ourselves and fix ourselves, okay? God is in complete control. God wants us to 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 do to do the things right. Um okay, yes. God tests you with a little, right? So yeah, network as I was saying, and 
Look at how you carry yourself. How do you package yourself? You are in business. Did you ever think about social media? How are you going to advertise yourself? Business needs you to market yourself. Have you found out how much, even if you didn't go to school, some of, some, some of us don't take advantage of free education that is given on social media. We'd rather be watching soapies on TV rather than improving our mindset and saying, hey, there's somebody who's teaching about social media marketing. Let me see how I can tap in into this information. How is my catering business going to be? Uh, how can I expand my catering business? How can I maybe show when I'm cooking and I'm going to show myself uh, or whatever the skills I have? Because people want to know what you're doing. Thank you so much for everybody who's sharing the live and tapping. Thank you so much. What does God want you to do? He will give you the wisdom and what you need to do. I told of a friend um, the other day, you know, this lady said to me, she invited me to her graduation, uh, one of her close spiritual daughters. And she said, mommy, you gave me my first job. I remember. And I was not qualified to operate in the field that you were in. But you gave me my first job. And she was graduating her master's degree. A, a, a master's in business administration and she graduated cum laude cum laude means like you like got distinctions everywhere right and she said i am so proud you met her in my life you said you are one of the people who's got a right to point a finger and say you made me because you made me not once not twice but you you kept on giving me jobs when nobody knew me when i was jobless when i didn't have any qualifications now i want to show you the seed that i sowed at that point at the point where it didn't matter to me, I was like, okay, this person is a Christian. I love this lady. And I gave her a job. And she remembered years later. And let me tell you how she finished her, her master's degree. She was baking cookies. She's a manager in a government department, still earning a salary. But she didn't complain and say, I don't have money to pay for my education. She was baking cookies in her house. She was baking cakes in her house. She was selling cookies. But now you have Christians who are feeling themselves like, I'm not going to drop. I'm a qualified this. I'm not going to do this. And I'm saying, guys, it will not work. You're going to have to readjust yourself. The same way when we were talking about the finances that you might have to down grade certain things certain lifestyles that you were living you might have to go give in the car god bless you pamela you might have to give back the car that you were uh you know the bigger car that you were paying a high installment on and you might have to downgrade you might have to use your car to drive uber i don't know you're gonna have to do what it takes and i'm saying <clears throat> let's stop thinking that we are above certain jobs because otherwise um I have no idea what you're talking about, Nkombo. Um, maybe you can clarify, right? So let's 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 look at, at these things and, and, and bring some sort of correction into our lifestyles and, and how we are living. Because also when you lose your job, you need to understand that you're gonna have to go through certain readjustments. Your family needs to understand that you're gonna do some readjustments as well. Right, Busi? Right? So um you might be living in a mansion. You might have to downgrade to a four-bedroom house or a three-bedroom house. And some people have had to go into a one-bedroom house. And you need to determine in your mind that I'm not going to shake and I'm not going to break in this situation with my children. But the fact is, at least we have a, a, a covering over our head. We are going to stand in this place and we're going to make it. God is going to bring us out bit by bit. Right? So... Let's look at what is God saying in, and, and, and still remain and saying the joy of the Lord is my strength. God will give me full, full joy with or without a job at the moment as I'm waiting on God to make clear, uh, give me clarity and, and give me wisdom what it is that I need to do, right? So I think I've, I, I will take certain questions um, at the moment. Um, um, you can start making your request to come into the box so that we can talk about certain things. Then I will close the discussion. We will go into prayer mode um, as well and just pray with God. Um, thank you for those who are following me. Thank you for those who are gifting as well. Thank you for those who are sharing the live broadcast. I hope that this is going to be beneficial and um, you're going to learn something. 
Precious says TV and social media is one of the causes. Uh, Samuel, thank you so much. Guys, nobody has a question. Nobody has. Is Did I scare you or did I just um, step on, on, on some nerves or something? Right? But you need to hold on to your faith. Unemployment is not a nice thing, but you must refuse to see yourself as a victim and look at it as a corrective season and say, okay, what do I need to correct? Yes, it's painful and everything, um, but one of the things, as I said, look at your packaging. How are you packaging yourself? Look at your CV. Some people don't behave, believe in paying people for looking at their CV. It's one of the things that I did, right? Um, some people are skilled in looking at, at, at CVs and saying, how is it that you are packaging yourself? Let me just look at these notes quickly so that I can guide you. See, I learn. Even I don't say that I've been an employer before. I don't say that I'm not going to look at how things are developing. Um, uh, okay, Pamela, there is a barcode on my um, on my video videos that I pinned. You just scan the barcode and you will be in there. So. One of the things that uh, one would need to look at, for example, but you can also send me an inbox with your WhatsApp number, then I'll give you the link as well there as well. Um, it helped you a lot. Hey, Steph, thank you so much for that. I think um, a lot of people don't know that, you know, you've got skills that you are doing. Let me tell you what was happening. When I was in high school, I was in a school, I was in a school that was multiracial. And I saw a lot of the girls, especially in metric, some of them were learning sewing, some of them were learning to cook and all these things. And I asked the question, I said, why are you guys learning all this? Because when I looked at these specific kids, they were actually the most intelligent. Um, um, they were the most intelligent people um, in the school and they were, their parents were rich and I, you know, it, it was looking like things were made. They were going to make it in one way or the other. Um, and they said, no, life is such that our parents have taught us that you must always have something that you can do with your hands because you can never guarantee an office job and life is always evolving. Um, different governments at different seasons, they have different policies in terms of who gets employed and how you get employed. And this was during a transition in South Africa where the, the government was saying they needed to redress the imbalances of the past by bringing in more black people into positions. So because these girls were of, of European descent, they were worried. They were like, how am I going to survive? We don't, we don't, we can't guarantee that we're going to get jobs. Yes, our parents can pay for our university and um, and and everything. Do me, I'm going to bring you in into into the box as well because I want you guys to advertise your businesses. So, guys, prepare your one minute or two minute pitch, your two minute pitch to tell us what your business is all about, where you're located, and so that somebody can be hearing for you. So, if you guys want people to know about your businesses, please make sure you share this broadcast and get people in. I'm doing this broadcast for you. This is not my normal 5 a.m. Uh, broadcast. I'm doing this for you. Share the live broadcast, get people in here. When you request, I'm gonna bring you in the box and you're gonna pitch and tell us what you're doing. And those of you who are saying, I don't know what I'm doing, I think I'm doing wrong, you can share with us. Those who are experts who are in this broadcast, I'm going to ask you to please lift up your hand and you tell me, okay, I'm an HR expert, I can answer that question. There's other questions I can answer, but I, I come from a different background, okay? So, guys, get ready. Get ready with your pitch. Um, Self-care, olive, beauty care, I'm going to give you a chance. You tell me who you are, what country you're from, what, what city you are from, what you're all about, and how you are making it in business. Let's in encourage each other so that other people can also be motivated just closing off some of the points on the people that are into careers look at your cover letter for example your cover letter is what is going to sell you people are looking at a, like a barrage of applications there's more than ten thousand applications that may come in for one job and that person it might even be you and you're looking at this pile and you're thinking I'm not going to go through this. And you're probably going to go through the first five or first 50. And something needs to catch the person's eye. And what I learned is that your skills and qualifications don't necessarily matter. 
because you might if a job says they want a bcom graduate or a bsc graduate every body has a, a, a everybody who has responded to that to that application probably has a bachelor of science degree and probably has a bachelor of commerce degree probably has a legal degree but what is going to say which kind of lawyer are you that you're applying for this legal job right your cover letter needs to speak volumes your presentation needs to speak volumes right you're not gonna attach pictures that are very funny pictures from your metric dance and they are on your linkedin and we are supposed to be looking at you um you know, seriously, and we are looking at your LinkedIn, we don't know whether you are a model or you are modeling, um, what do you call it, this thing, these beach things that they wear <laughs> at the beach, um, a swimming costume, because you are showing skin, you are revealing skin, so we, we're not quite sure. And then somebody is may, maybe looking for a specific type of person, a manager who's composed for a particular industry, you need to dress in a particular way. And here you are, um, you know, some people, and I'm, I'm talking from the perspective of the fact that I've done interviews when I'm looking for certain people. And I actually go the extra mile and I would actually look at their social media and other people might feel you are invading, invading my space. But I don't know whether if I'm going to put you in a managerial position and I'm, you are there smoking a hubbly bubbly or uh, whatever it's called, um, on your profile picture on LinkedIn, you, you understand that these things do not correlate. They don't. They don't gel. So your your cover letter and your email, the email that you are going to send your CV with, should really talk to to the person, address them properly. Some people just send you a I mean, hi. Do you know what, how I feel when I just get a message that just says hi? Not good day, not good evening, not you must have that sense of respecting people and, and address them unless they tell you it's okay to address them with hi. Just generally, when you're even networking with people, teach yourself to speak properly. Don't don't write in cryptic language in acronyms that are only understood as a slang type of scenario where you are understood by people on TikTok only and you are typing as if you are typing on TikTok on a broadcast. No, when you are talking to people who who are going to be up, uh, employing you, use full sentences. Check your your capital letters. Are your capital letters in the right place? right are your is is your full stop in the right place or is your punctuation everywhere here you are you are applying for a, a, a promotion you are saying i'm ready to be a manager and a supervisor those kind of categories one day i want to be an executive you are going to have to write reports so for example let me make an example i'm not going to use a i'm gonna do you understand that is just you can't say i'm, I'm gonna be talking to you i'm going to be talking to you Letters for the person who's looking at the presentation and saying, shoo, this person has to be talking to shareholders. This report is going to be read by the CEO and they're using language like that as if they are speaking slang to their house, to, to their uh, uh, friends. OK, so don't use cryptic language. Don't write as if you are writing to your friend and you are writing instead of saying in Jesus name, you are lawyer IJN. You can do that on, 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 on TikTok. We understand that. But when you are going to do, even in your email, what are you saying in your email? You can't say, please find attached uh, here, here, here to email um, CV attached in response to your application. S address them very well. I refer to your advertisement data, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go into detail. But address people properly. Let that email carry the respect with which, um, you know, Thank you so much, Buti. I'll give you a chance to 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 do your two minute two minute pitch, guys. We're gonna. I know there's gonna be a lot of people, but you have to be able to give us your pitch within in less than three minutes because I need to give everybody a chance. Um, summarize your professional life, right? Summarize your professional life in your summary, in your about me section, in your LinkedIn profile, in your, in your cover letter, you need to hit hard with those short sentences. I'm not saying go write three, three pages of a cover letter. Who are you? Summarize your professional life. They don't want to know how many dogs or whatever you have and, and, and how many babies you have and all that. Just you know, take time, take time. There's a, there's a bald guy on TikTok is uh, one 
white guy with bald hair he teaches on how to answer questions in an interview so that when they ask you tell us about yourself you don't go on a rampage and tell my name is Bunke. i've got five kids oh i love them oh and my grandchildren oh Bunke, don't worry i'm just making an example with your name right so um let's check ourselves because it's often very silly mistakes i'm glad more light you are, you are seeing light in what i'm saying because it's silly mistakes that you might be making and nobody actually ever stopped to say let's tell you about this people say that we as christians we only talk about gospel and we're just praying and we don't educate people and i'm saying in my own little way i'm bringing what i know what i know from the corporate field and what i know in terms of whatever i've learned right in terms of my intellectual property so i'm bringing it to you guys let me just go through these notes very quickly um set your your cv apart it must not look the same like everybody else yes there are certain things that you are you are capturing but your qualifications have the least to do everybody has got the least qualification the same qualifications but what is it that matches um your qualifications to what they are looking for what i've heard apparently when they ask you to submit the job application, they ask you in a particular format. Maybe they ask you to submit it in PDF or in Word. And when it goes through the machine, the machine, the, the, the artificial intelligence that has been put in that machine checks the, 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 the matching of the keywords, whether the keyword is matching what they are looking for. So you might have had said everything else. You are sending in a general CV, but you didn't tailor make it for this specific job that you are sending it into. And it doesn't hit the key keywords that you wanted to talk to the same way as I, I will just digress a bit and talk to those of you who are using social media to advertise your 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 services when you are going to use the wrong hashtags for example you are posting a video and i'm so sorry uh, minister amelia please uh, make sure that you get the right network because it, you are very key on this your hashtag needs to match the right keywords so that you are visible enough. So it doesn't help that you're going to put a hashtag or hashtag of um, a music, a popular music hashtag, whereas you're advertising something to do with cooking. You understand what I'm saying? You, you need to check yourself. How are you? Are your keywords matching basically what skill sets are they looking at look at the job description tailor make your cover letter to, to go with the job description tailor make your 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 cb to match so that when it goes through the artificial intelligence machine it checks what exactly and it matches the keywords and then it's shortlisted these days people are using machines to shortlist before human beings so that machine needs to see whether you have the analytical skills you cannot just go on the same cover letter and say i work well under pressure people already people who are employing they know you are lying because everybody is going to say i work well under pressure isn't it and you know very well you don't want to work well under pressure you don't want to stay after five o'clock you want to rush home there's no under pressure of anything they say i don't mind working after hours and then after three months you're in the job you you want to you want to go home Okay, let me continue so that I close quickly and give you a chance. Um, so your job application must win the race. Understand how your industry works. Understand what your field is. What, what are they looking for in that field? What is the next biggest thing? For example, those who are working in retail. So that you use the right language when you go to the interview. Are you going to use the right language they use in retail? Or you're going to sound clueless? You cannot be going to apply to work in a finance department and you don't understand the financial language in there. So take your, take your time. Read books. Read Google. Use Google. Google. Okay. Um, understand how they are shortlisting, how are they going through the whole um, uh, job um, determination, how are they creating that job. Some of you get very frustrated because you've applied for this job and you've been waiting for months and months and you don't understand that, okay, that, that company is going through retrenchments at the moment. They can't just appoint. Yes, they know their position has been vacant, but maybe they fired somebody and that person has taken them to the CCMA. Uh, I don't know in other countries, but they've taken them to court. They are suing them. So it means that they cannot appoint you. And maybe you are in that job and you're saying, but this job has been vacant for a long time. This person was suspended. They lost their job and I've applied to go to 
to that promotion. I want to be promoted to that position. But you don't understand why they're not appointing. It's not that maybe sometimes they don't like you, but they can't appoint you at that time because they have to finish the court process with this other person and make sure that this person is not going to, be, the court is not going to order them to be reinstated. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, cover page, your formatting. Don't write and use font 11 on paragraph 1 and on paragraph 12. On paragraph 2, you are on font 12. On paragraph 7, you are on font 13. Your formatting, your punctuation is in the wrong place. Your, your alignment on your pages is all over the place. Know what you're doing. Rather go pay for somebody who knows what they're doing and they're going to do it right. Or you learn yourself how to do it. Look at your grammar. Look at your formatting. Look at the language you're using. Understand where you are fitting in the bigger picture. When you go to that job interview, you will understand exactly. I'm waiting. As soon as somebody requests, and I will, I will start. So I'm going to just go on until you guys start to request the business owners or, or those who are looking for employment if you want guidance, okay? If you're going to talk to clients, for example, if you're applying for a customer service job, are you using the right language? Is, is your grammar correct? Because if your grammar is going to be incorrect, it's a problem. And you know that English is the is the, is the the language, for example, for that company. If they are speaking Zulu, no problem. Then your Zulu has to be on point. If you're whatever language, but whatever language that you're applying for and you know that that company, that is their standard language, understand it and, and use that language properly. Um, so you need to tease them a little bit right so your grammar has to be correct you are interacting with customers don't go there with a heavy face and you are not smiling at people and you are having this job interview and you just anyhow you know you, you are snapping and, and and understand why they ask you situational questions where they're asking you how you're going to handle a particular thing and you're saying yes like if somebody talks to me like this this is what you've lost the job because now you have spoken your mind. I'll, I will tell them, I will give them a piece of my mind. If somebody steps on my toes, if somebody tells me that I did something and I didn't do something and I did do it and you just want to go and lose yourself and become that person that you are in the street, you understand that you're going to self-sabotage yourself. But I'm preaching to the converted here. Okay. So, yeah. Use your storytelling. Tell stories in your interviews. Showcase yourself. Showcase your good skills and everything. I see a lot of the people that wanted prophecies have left us, but it's okay. Let's keep sharing the live broadcast, guys. You can start requesting and come in. I'm waiting for the guest request now, right? Um, da, 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 da. Okay. So, yeah, learn and, and read the news. What is on the news? Um, what are people um, in that field looking for? What is the next biggest thing? Be clued up. Understand what people are talking about. Be mature. Understand the sector that you're going into. Um, understand that when you go and join any company, you're joining the company to increase their revenue. You are not there to be just an ornament. You are there to increase their revenue. They want you to increase their revenue. They want you to show up on time. They want you to help them save costs. Don't be the kind of person who's just going to be seen going to the kitchen every single five minutes drinking coffee. Be, that's wasteful. How are you handling um do you make photocopies unnecessarily i know these examples might seem very um simplistic but managers are always work watching managers are always watching um how do you engage with uh, stakeholders for example do you engage with suppliers rudely do you know how to um, handle suppliers when they do deliveries and, and, and all those things. Everything is a circle. You don't have to just impress your boss. You have to impress every single, every single person in the chain is important. How you speak to the cleaner is important. From the cleaner, the security guard, you don't know that, you know, how close the CEO might be with the security guard, for example, and they say, hey, that one, that Stephanie, the way that lady is so rude, say, I don't know, he's always, whenever she's coming in, she's always uh, looking like she's, she's very angry. So every person matters. You impress from the first day how you greeted the receptionist the day you went for the interview. Excuse me. Okay, so people want to know that they've got the right people with the right skills in the right job that are going to be respectful to their customers, that they're going to be respectful to the suppliers, that they're going to help the business to grow and their companies to grow. Okay, let me take your questions. Who wants to come into the box so that we can now um, refocus um, our attention? Guys, it looks like you just want to pray, right? Did I scare away the people who were saying they wanted a job? <laughs> 
Yes, uh, Brenda on, on Facebook says you are an asset or liability in a firm. Yes, you are either an asset or a liability. And if you're going to be a liability, you're going to be the first one out. When they get an opportunity to fire, you're going to be there. Why is it, are you guys not able to, to, to do the requests? Okay, no, the request thing is working. I'm waiting for the business owners. Ndumaiza, you want to kick off? You want to tell us about your business? Otherwise, I'm going to start closing in prayer. Because maybe I spoke too much or maybe I scared too many people. Maybe today I've just been... <laughs> I've been too hard on people. Have I been too... Have I been too hard? Request. <laughs> you just want me to pray. Um. Okay, here we go. Doing. Yes, I will pray. Request, don't worry. There's an echo, my angel. You can maybe... Um. I don't know what's causing the echo. How are you doing? We're struggling to hear you a bit, okay? Ooh. Okay, just go out and come back in again. I think that's, that's going to be the best way of doing it. Go out and come back in again. Okay. Okay, now I can hear you. Talk to us, my angel. Oh, I think they want uh, tolerance. Um, you want to know how to do a cover letter and how to send an email. Can I ask you to follow Coach Swu on TikTok? There's a guy called Coach Swu. Can you please give him a follow? I don't know his handle, but I do know that I follow him. So I, I'm, I, I, if um, you don't get hold of him, you should see. I think their website is careeremporium.co.za. You can also check them out on YouTube, Career Emporium. Uh, you want to talk about against employees? Trouble will will definitely come looking for you. Guys, today, you know, it's it's talk session. So if you don't send an invite to come in. De, de, de. Yes, more light. Hi, woman of God. How are you? I'm blessed and you, sir. I'm well, I'm well. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I do sell water tanks. So at a very discounted price. In um, We are in Cape Town and we are also in... Once back in Bronco Street. Okay, so your name is. What's your um, name? Uh, my your, name the, is, the name of your name business. Ah, uh, it's Bright Hope Investments. Bright Hope Investments. Bright Hope Investments. Yes. In Cape Town. Yes. Yeah, in Cape, Cape Town and Bronco Street. And Bronco Street, yes, in Jolo. And yes, you sell water tanks. Yeah, we sell water tanks. So this is not like the boreholes. It's like really like water tanks that you you basically refill or the rain fills it up and stuff like that. Can you tell us more about the business? Yes. How is the business going? How is it? Uh, how is it to be an entrepreneur? Uh, how are you finding it? Are you? Are there any tips that you can give to other people? Um, to be an entrepreneur, it's um, it's a, it's a great space to be, but it takes um a lot of uh, sacrifice. There are a lot of things that you you need to give up. 
uh, like uh, you have to give in your time mm. so to willing to uh, because eventually you will lose uh, like more friends uh, in the process because um, there are times that uh, uh, the business is demanding your, your attention and also maybe the friends also they are uh, demanding your attention uh, like uh, they need you to go somewhere and uh, you also need to to choose now uh, are you going mm -hmm. to be in the business or uh, just being friends also mm -hmm. uh, there are sacrifices in, in terms of um, like uh, finances because when you're starting you also need to cut down much of your expenses also to uh, deprive yourself from uh, things that you you like just to sacrifice for the to push uh, uh, to push uh, the business to go amen. amen so so when I started uh, it was so it's like uh, I was employed I, I was employed and um, I wasn't uh, earning much so i was working in the factory so um, i started by moving from um, the duties that i was doing then i went into like a marketing space mm. then i started like uh, marketing space then i gained some in marketing place uh, space then i got to you know, a lot of lot of yes i'm here More light, we can hear you. Uh, I think I lost you a bit. Let's send them welcome. More light, are you back now? Is it your uh, network? Then the Lord is. I think it's my network, yeah. Okay. So you're saying you uh, were an you employee? You you were, yes, we can hear you. You were, you were at the part where you were telling us that you were employed before and you went into a marketing space. And then from marketing, uh, you went which direction? Yes, yeah. Then um, I had to approach like um, uh, the the industries that were, that were selling water tanks because uh, that time they were in Cape Town. There was uh, day zero, you know, that time when the water was scarcy. So, mm -hmm. so I approached them. Then I say I can work to, uh, to sell the tanks as well. So they allowed me, and they say uh, the discounted price, and uh, they say uh, if I get it, I get the customer, they give me the tanks, and I deliver, and uh, the customer pays me, and they pay the company. So yeah, by God's grace, I continued to grow until I. Okay. I think your network is cutting a bit, but I think I've got the gist of it. More like you're welcome to, to stay in the box so that you can answer any question that maybe can help somebody else. And Dumaiza, I just muted you because there was noise in the background, but I can still see you're on there. Guys, I hope that um, uh, you have learned what more like more like re recognize a gap in the industry. If you recall in Cape Town, that was the time when they were limiting water and they were saying you know so she he saw an opportunity he left his employment and he went um you know before even that he said he wanted to understand marketing he wanted to understand how marketing works and he implemented his own company to satisfy a need during that season if you recall during COVID times people only started companies at that time they were selling all these masks and everything but this is somebody who says you know what I know this might look like a demise for somebody. There's water issues, there's water restrictions. I'm gonna make sure that I go into that space because now people need to preserve their water. They need to have their own water. So if I see that as somebody who's thinking outside of the box. May God bless you, More Light, and give you more customers. Guys, More Light, his company is Bright Hope Investment. They're based in Cape Town and in Bronco Spray. So if you know anybody who needs a water tank, whether it is in Limpopo and whatever, um, province it is in they are ready to help you out and they will make sure that they bring it out and what better way to actually ask a christian a person who's a christian that you can trust that you know can do and, and that's another thing as christian business people we need to be trustworthy enough 
right? To, to make sure that we deliver so that we don't create a bad name for ourselves. Thank you so much. I've learned a lot. And um, one of the issues that he highlighted is that this thing is going to take time. So it's not an overnight thing. And it's um, you're going to have to sacrifice the time you hang out with friends and all that. And you're going to cut down on your expenses because you, you are looking at the bigger picture and the goal of where you're going. And you're going to have to deprive of your, yourself of the things you love. So it means maybe not going on holidays and all that and, and stuff like that. Um, um, no, he's not manufacturing water tanks, RMX. I think he's reselling them. More like somebody wants to know if you are re if you are manufacturing from scratch or you're reselling. But if I understood him, he said he's, he's um, reselling. Now I'm manufacturing myself. Okay, yes. Armex, he is manufacturing uh, as I, I used to. Okay. He is manufacturing. Yeah, he is manufacturing. Okay, guys, um, you can send questions for him while he's still in the box, and then we will read it and we'll ask him. God's grace, God bless you, my sister. Can you um, unmute and then just greet the people and tell us about yourself? Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Annalise. And my business, my business name is Truck Lane Africa. Truck Lane. Um, Truck Lane Africa. Okay. Truck Lane Africa. So I'm I'm a broker. So what I basically do is mostly I go to dealerships and I ask them if I can advertise their their trucks for them or their yellow fleet. And um, I've got a WhatsApp group where I've got about two hundred um, people on, um, which. About thirty percent of the people is bro or brokers, and um, then what I do is I advertise it. Then I get a uh, buyers and I um, invoice them and I put my market price on on top of of the owner's price and then I sell it like that. And basically anybody that's at home can do that. All you need is your cell phone. That's all you need, and you can actually earn an income. For me, as a single mom of five children, I can't go and work for a company. I only have a matric, and um, I was married like when I was young. I got married, and I was a housewife, and then my husband passed away. So I didn't know the business world, and I don't know all these um, um, practical things or the education that you need. So for me, the best thing was, I went to God and said, how can I earn an income? And I started off um, buying and selling clothes. I've always been in sales. But what I want to say is it's a great opportunity when you work for yourself um, to give a big gap for, gap for God to work um, on your behalf as well, to give you favor, to help you with your finances and help you with your spiritual growth, getting closer to God, depending on God. Um, it helps you to grow in faith. Um, so don't be dismayed if you feel like you have a disadvantage in this world and you can't go into the corporate industry or you can't go and work for a boss for a small income because you've got a big family. Um, so I basically, mostly, I want to just encourage everybody out there that are employed today. You can really, if you have a cell phone and if you have God on your side, you can basically do anything and bring an income in and survive in this world. Amen. I love that, Annelise. Guys, do you hear the cell phone that you are watching me from or the computer? That is all you need, a cell phone in your hands. I am very encouraged, Annelise. Honestly, guys, guys, I hope this is resonating with everybody, every single parent that is on this broadcast. I, if Annelise can do it with five children, and um, those of you who want to reach out to Annelise, um, I don't know, uh, Annelise, if, if, if they are welcome to follow you, and maybe as you say that if there's room for other brokers, I don't know if you need brokers or something like that. Is there anything you need in terms of support, or how do we get your business uh, known out there? What should we say to people? Um, definitely, I can, I can, you can follow me, please follow me. And I can give you my cell phone number. You're welcome to get in touch with me on WhatsApp. I love to encourage people. Um, and I, I can help where, where I can help, I will, will, will help. Yes. Thank you so much, Annelise. God bless you. And I liked what you said about 
you know, asking God for direction and asking God to give you favor. Um, because just with your cell phone and asking yourself, God, okay, what can I do? in from the house you didn't have to go for a special degree or anything guys so please follow annalise um and um she will encourage you where she can but please also guys as i always say we respect each other's spaces and don't ask for money okay don't ask people for money okay um let people teach you how to fish right um, instead of asking for the fish, right? So I hope that that resonates. So thank you so much, Annelise. Um, Annelise has put her number there. Uh, it's in the comment section. Please be respectful. Annelise, feel free to block anybody who, who decides to misbehave. <laughs> but I'm sure there won't be any people who misbehave. My people, guys, this is this is an example. If there is an opportunity in your field, you can bring other people on board. Help other Christians, help other families that are struggling. And don't embarrass us when we um, recommend you. I recommended two people for a position that that job in the military and they were already contacted. And so please do not embarrass because it's our reputation on the to recommend you. Thank you so much, Annelise. Thank hey, God bless you. God bless you, my darling. And may God increase you and favor you. More business for you as well. Bootsy, talk to me. Good evening, my darling. How are you? I'm blessed and you, sis. I'm good, I'm good. I can't complain. Um, let me tell you about my business. I run an extra lessons a tutoring company. Okay. I've been there for the past 10 years now. Okay. And this was on the back of me being a teacher for 18 years, both in South Africa and internationally. I taught overseas as well. And then wow. when I came here, when I came back, I still wanted to be a teacher, but you know the conditions of teaching in South Africa now. So I decided, no, I'm going to do it my way. Mm. Then I decided to do private teacher, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay. Sorry? I'm listening, my angel. So what, what, what lessons are you offering in what fields? We do mostly the sciences, math, science, math, physics, chemistry. Okay. And then English, African, and yeah, those are the new two languages. Okay, so this is your company now that you're running for the extra lessons. And Buti, tell me, um, do you have any social media presence? Yes, uh, but I'm I'm no longer very active on Facebook. So you'll find me on TikTok. If you if you go on my page now, you will see all my students and uh, uh, marks and achievements. And uh, my dad just break and say I've never had a child fail in the past ten years. Amen. I love it. Never. I'm. I'm actually. I'm busy checking you out on um TikTok. Oh, please, and, please, please, please. <laughs> Um. Okay. Let me do this. Let me actually uh try and click on your name while I'm there, guys. Those of you who um who are parents and you are looking for tutors, right? You are looking for for tu a tutor in Afrikaans, English, physics, chemistry, math, and science. Please follow Buti right now. Buti, what city are you in? I'm in a Centurion, Pretoria. Uh, Centurion, Pretoria. Okay, so that's. Uh, do you also do any online um, any online uh, tutoring? Yes, we do uh, uh, online tutoring for people who are outside the Midland area, like from your Jovek website. I'm only uh, 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 contact like face to face in Pretoria, Centurion, and Midland. Okay. Outside waterfall, no, we just do on. Okay, this is amazing. I'm looking at at the the profile. It's uh, it's Mabu Kanya, guys. You must follow her while you're here. You can go to the uh, top right there where it says 85 people. Scroll down and you will see Butse there. Um, and just give her a follow. And I'm sure you have somebody who's still got children in school. Um, I like what she's doing with her profile. She's her profile actually talks to her business. So this is one of the ways. And guys, TikTok is huge. TikTok is major. I know that most of us started on Facebook, but if you really want to go out there, take advantage of TikTok. If you want to have a TikTok where you're just doing the dances, it's fine. But if you want to have a TikTok where you are showcasing your business, make sure you work it and make sure you are always there visibly and all those things. Those of you who are into baking or cooking and stuff like that, if you bring in your children and they cook with you, it's also an experience because then you are bringing the best of both worlds together. But think about it, think it through. 
um thank you so much but see i i'm really excited um and i'm going to be definitely talk be talking about your company more i just followed you under spirit zone now and i'm sure that you followed fortune l online and i will definitely check you out now in in the comments as well so let's get this information out there guys who needs a tutor where else would you go but you're a christian right yes i Amen. Yes, Do you okay. follow the broadcast? Um, um, I watch. I watch you every morning. Every morning. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, Buti is not only just a Christian, but she's a prayerful woman, and she's here. The same with um, Annelise. God's grace. I see her every day. I have been seeing her. She's regularly here, guys. And this is the whole point of our Wednesday chats. Let's support one another. Patronize each other. Pray for each other's businesses. Pray for the expansion. Would you might be getting tutors from amongst you? Some of you have uh, left university or high school. You need a job, and Buti might be your future employer. Thank you so much, Buti. Can I just can I just mention one thing quickly? Just two yes. seconds. On the okay. on the after after the the the, the extra lessons, I do yes. academic coaching as well. So okay. The, Yes, so the consultation for the academic coaching is free. It's only 30 minutes and it's free. But if I have to put a package for you on the methods and how to you know, channel your child to study and all those things, that's when I charge you. But the consultation to check the problem, see where your child is struggling and all of that, that is absolutely that's amazing okay guys praise angula says we really need that so guys follow Bootsy and you contact her on inbox and she i'm sure her details are on her profile how you reach out to her you need academic coaching the first 30 minutes is free and after that she charges and guys no freebies just because we christians we have to charge time is money time is built so please if anybody asks you for a fee it's good. Make that investment so that you can also take it uh, very seriously as well. Thank you so much, Butse. I will definitely be talking about your business um, often, and I will. I will. We. We'll, I think we must have more of these business. Let's talk about our business <laughs> more often. Um, I, until much. you guys, I, I don't know what is the, the 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 stage when you can go live, but I'm here. I'm a tool. I'm a resource. I'm gonna say. I will put you guys out there. You talk about your skills and you come and showcase yourself. That's yeah. it. Thank you, Thank you so much. much, my darling. Bless you. Mosey, Mosey, Mosey. And then we go to Glitz and Glamour and then we go to Angel Rivera. Thank you so much, Mosey. How are you doing? Mosey, talk to us. Do you want to unmute or you want me to unmute you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, my darling. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing so good. My name is Moses. I'm a pastor Moses. from Uganda, Kampala. Hi, Moses. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. Can you hear me? Very well, very well. Kampala is a beautiful oh, yeah. town. Yes. Yeah, so I'm from Kampala. I have a ministry there, but I'm also a business person. I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Basically, I have a company which, which is its name is Arise and Shine, mm -hmm. and also another company called Katunda Enterprise. So in these companies, basically the major things that we do is to buy and sell uh, cars, and we renovate them. We buy like an old car. We major in problems because we always buy issues. We always buy properties which have problems and uh we solve those problems and then we sell the properties again and these include the land you will find the land maybe it is having a caveat on it it has failed in one way or the other and then we buy it at a, a lower cost and then we sell it at almost a triple cost so after solving those problems that are on the, that land so we have that policy to use the the problems as opportunities for us to step forward so also when it comes to cars you will find cars there are people who have cars which have problems maybe they have a problem with the gearbox maybe they have a problem with the engine maybe they have a loan so we basically buy and sell issues problems we buy and sell items or properties which have problems and we sell them again and also, 
in that property we we now own in Kampala and also in Wachiso various properties because when we buy we don't automatically sell but sometimes we keep them if they are so strategic such that they may gain value and increase in value and then we can resell them again at a very very high price okay so that's uh, that's the business basically we do here in Kampala uh, we also do some decoration but not so much decoration of events and weddings uh, but that one is not mine it is a uh, for some other people that help to manage and give some maybe knowledge of consultants. I also give um, a knowledge on entrepreneurship, on how to, to, to recognize the, which business can work for you at the, uh, in which location. And uh, if you have a location, which kind of idea can, uh, can you come up with which business idea is better for which location and so on. Yeah, but basically me, the business I did in is to buy and sell those properties. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Pastor Moses. Yes. If you are in Uganda and you're looking for a, a, a property to purchase or you're looking for yes, a business to God. buy, um, Pastor Moses is available. He's into obviously renovating old cars, and uh, properties as well. And this is a business that you can also do, guys. Guys, do not sleep on the money. What he's doing in Uganda, you can do it in South Africa. You can do it in any country. Go to auctions. When you've got some monies and you, okay, you're thinking, okay, I can do this, but make sure you study the the, the, the residential areas that you are going into, going to um, doing these auctions, and you see what you can buy and, and re renovate and resell or rent out so you need to be smart mm. about these things guys you need to learn about these things i know that if this is big business in the united states so but it also matters which residential area you actually choose because you don't want to buy a dump when you're not going to be able to resell it so there's that mm. opportunity and i've seen a lot of people actually a lot of people from west africa and east africa who are doing the same in south africa who are also buying cars so guys if you are in uganda um um katenda um enterprise katenda enterprise and arise and shine business they are there for you uh please go and patronize them thank you so much pastor moses for sharing your business with us and um and thank you for encouraging other people i see comments that people are saying i'm encouraged i'm going to start my business now i can see other people are doing this i think especially for you jackie because this will resonate with you to say god can still use you and you still be in business okay so it can complement you um and especially i can give uh, woman sorry. of god i can give I can share my contact in case anyone needs business consultants. I always, I have an office where I consult. I give advice on people concerning concerning business. And uh, there are very many people I work for, most especially in the United Kingdom and the United States of America who have businesses in Uganda. And uh, we give them ideas on which kind of businesses they can open and which risks are involved and how they can uh, they can do about them most especially like if it is buying properties you have to know which area are you buying and what is the value and how much should you buy below market value so and if anyone is involved in such business uh, he needs a lot of knowledge because this is a very profitable business that uh, um, but also very risky for instance like uh, a few months ago we bought land somewhere on tarmac and uh, the land had problems and we came and we studied the problems and we knew how we can solve the problems and we bought the land at a cost of around like a hundred million and that within a space of two to three months it is now appreciated to 350 million meaning it gives us a profit which is 250 million so we solve the problems we find the we, we what we learned from this is not to run away from problems because everyone fears the problem. So for us, when we see a property which has problems, we specialize to deal in issues which have problems. So we solve those problems and we heighten the price for the, those for those for the properties. Potential investors. Because, yeah. Okay, um, Pastor Moses, I'm gonna have to rush because I want to ask the others to also come in. 
Um, guys, I've, I've oh, only God. got 14 minutes left and I need to shift and give the equipment over to Apostle Mara because he's going live at 10 o'clock. That's the only reason I'm going to rush you, right? Uh, but we're going to have another session again. Please make sure you are following Pastor Moses. And um, Pastor Moses, you can go into the comment section and put up your, your contact details. Anybody who needs a business consultant, you are thinking of doing business in Uganda, please... Um, uh, consult him um guys the earth is the lord's and the fullness of there is no boundaries in terms of where you can actually go and invest so you can talk to him maybe one day you will travel to uganda and see the opportunities and understand more about uganda maybe you've been saying you know sometimes it's not only your own country that you your business can do better in but he can be that door that you need in uganda thank you so much god bless you man of god and may the lord increase you in ministry as well in jesus name Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Okay, who has next? I think it was Glitz and Glamour, then it, it's Lukiki, and then it's Angel. Um, uh, Steph, I'm going to talk about your business as well, guys. Uh, Stephanie, um, uh, that's Stephanie Show Busy, you see in the comment section. She's into baking and um, also into if you have an event, they've got people that they clean. So she's into that business. Steph, maybe you can put up in the comment section because you say you've got a network issue. Put the, the city you're in, the country you're in, and so that people know how to contact you guys. Follow Steph. Steph is saying, I've got a business. I bake, I cook, and I also clean. Um, And I can come with people to clean it at your events. So keep, keep talking. Keep following each other. Become friends. Quick, quick. Hey, Blitz and Lemma. Talk to me, my darling. Hello, how are you? I'm blessed, my sister. How are you doing? I'm also fine. Amen. Uh, as for me, I have a tour company, tourism company. Okay. It's called Enashipai. Okay. And uh, we are specialized in um, tours and travel, uh, mountain climbing. Which country are you based in, my angel? Um, in Uganda, but... Uh, Company, it's operating in East Africa. Okay, the whole of East Kenya, Africa. Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, yeah. Okay, Kenya, Uganda, and, and, and okay, tell us about it. Um, uh, we're dealing with uh, tours and travel, hotel reservations, okay. airport transfers, missionary okay. trips. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Um, How is business doing? Uh, so far now, it's high season. But uh, we're still looking for other agents in different countries. So okay. they can promote for us. Yeah. So you're looking for people in other countries who will help you promote that, that you that will be working remotely with you? And yes. Okay. And and yeah. are they working as employees or they work based on commission in terms of if, if they've got a client from some, like for example, in South Africa that is coming and they're booking through your tourism, is it commission or is it salary? Uh, it's a commission base. Is it commission based? It's commission based. Okay, yes. guys. All right. Um. Okay, guys. I hope you heard about that. She's in Uganda. Um. She's into glitz and glamour. Sorry, I didn't get your first name. I want to. Glory. 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 Okay. Glory. Yeah. So the the account you are using now does not talk to the tourism company because you mentioned a different company name, right? Yeah. So glitz and glamour is just. Do you have a a social media handle? Yes, uh, it's on Instagram. On Instagram, okay. Yeah. Give us the name again. Enashipai. E N. Ena, e, na, yeah, e N A. S H. S H. I P A. I P A. I. I, okay, Enashipai. On IG, guys. Uh, I hope you got that. Okay, listen, Jama, you can go and put it in the comment section, guys. Anybody who is intending to um to to go to east africa please uh patronize that company and um, help and, and help pray for their success if you are in any other country and you just want to do something with them um and they say on commission basis they are willing to also pay uh, i'm sure there's people who want to go travel and see east africa so make sure you connect with each other please follow each other okay thank you so much god bless you listen lama um, Thank may the you. Lord increase you. Your business will do well in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to do a closing prayer for everybody at the end. Okay, who was next? Um, Angel Rivera. Guys, please talk about your business in the in the, in the the comment section. Please keep talking, okay? Hello? 
Yes, my dear. How are you doing? Not bad. How are you? I'm wonderful. Great. Uh, God bless you. So I got drawn into uh, your preaching the other night, and then I was like, uh, I think it's meant to be because uh, I had lost uh, my opportunity that I have for four years. I was working for a company, and they decided to let me go. So um, now I got an offer by a, someone that I know that he's in the business of lithium. So he told me to come. Yeah, so he told me to come along and then I'm going to see what's going on next week. Maybe I can, you know, help out that way myself. But uh, the most important thing is that uh, I want to let you know that I have uh, asked you the other night with uh, some uh, administration and I left you a message on your TikTok. Okay. <laughs> so, and, you know, Did the I last respond? message. I tried to catch that? up. Did I respond as yet? No, you haven't. So I want to take this opportunity to remind that that is there. And uh, you see that there is, uh, you know, okay. since I was a kid, I was blocked yeah. and I was like, I don't know. But uh, maybe this could be the ending of the cycle. So I wanted to make sure that uh, I yes. got the proper administration, you know. So I want to see if I can get uh, for future holes and see what happens and then... Uh, you know, started to fully fulfill the blessings from that has Amen. been given to me by God, but then being blocked. Which country so are you at, uh, Angel? I am in Canada. Canada. Okay. So you're doing the lithium business in Canada? Yeah. Well, my friend has his soul, that's his business, but he wants me to come along because I have a better understanding of the perception in in the in the in the in the world it's just like a, i can speak two languages you know i speak spanish so 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 he's seeing that and then he he's, he's a person that i know for for a few years already so he trusts me his business but he he's based in nigeria but uh, he lives in, in in canada but uh we can ship uh you know whatever whatever people need we can ship it to their door directly awesome. Awesome. Okay. We're definitely going to pray about it and I'm going to check the inbox as well. Um, let me just make sure that I see you. I'm, I'm actually, I've been following people with my other account, um, Spirit Zone. I'm trying mm -hmm. to look, 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 where is this now? Um, why are you not appearing on the list now? I was trying to follow you with my other account as well, but I'm there, Spirit Zone. Let me follow Patsy quickly and then I'm just tagging yeah. her. Please just follow that account that says Spirit Zone. I'm sure you are seeing it. It keeps on going up and up um, just so that I can make sure. But I will check uh, on, on the inbox that you said. And definitely we will be praying for you that this opportunity definitely brings good results for you and um, that everything, all your steps will be ordered by God. Definitely. Um, yes. Oh, so God you, might, you see my channel. My channel name is that Angel Rivera. It's under my name. Um, the Angel Rivera, because I'm in the list of the people on the corner. I see Ndombi. Guys, you're welcome to follow me on Spirit Zone. I'll follow you back immediately now, um, because I've got space there. Tasmin Yageta, I've seen, I've followed, I followed most people that I tagged. I'm not seeing it. Um, but say something in the comment section and just type something out, and I'm gonna follow you there. Now, now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, right now you can say something and just say hello. And then, guys, I want everybody to be praying for for um, Angel Rivera as well. Guys, I hope I didn't miss anybody else. We're gonna pray quickly now, and then we're gonna close because I need to hand over the broadcast to somebody else. Hey, Doctor Catherine, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you guys for coming to the morning prayers. And I hope that our chat today was beneficial and was rewarding, and you learned something. Um, please. Leave a comment in the videos that are pinned and let us know whether this is doing well for you. You know what I will do? I'm going to ask God for an innovative idea what video I can do. Then you're all going to comment on that video with your businesses. Okay. So just hang 10. I'm going to announce it one of the mornings. And then I'm going to say, you know, I don't know. Christians in business or something. I, I'm going to ask God for a, a, a wise way of doing it. And then you're welcome to comment on that video about your business and then people will tag you. Okay. Thank you so much, Angel.
Thank you so much for your help, and I, I do truly want to tell you that uh, it is from my heart that it was drawn to your attention, and, and like I said, it's like uh, I've been I've been in this situation for all my life. Life, and I, I think it's, it's this final. You know, I'll be 56 years old, and in, in, in October, it is not fair for me to to live the rest of my life like I have, which is uh, the problem that has been going on against. Uh, you know, it was big witchcraft from my own family. Oh. And, um, so it's a big, you know, it's a big thing for me. So I'm gonna settle down this week, and then I, I took it off just to recover from what I had, and then. Uh, Let's see next next week we're gonna meet with this guy that I told you then and we're gonna start doing the business so business cars and all that stuff. So it's it's, it's you know it's a mm -hmm. great opportunity mm -hmm. for me and I wanna thank you and I want to thank every single one of you that are part of the of the gospel, which is uh, you know Amen. it's a blessing. Amen. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. I'm I'm so grateful for all the testimonies and that I'm grateful that God draw you drew you to the broadcast and you're part of the family from now on. I followed you back, but it says it's a private account, and I'm sure you will yeah. see it after the broadcast. But I'm so grateful, guys. And please make sure you read your contracts very properly, guys. As you know, um, from me, from a legal side of, of things and a legal side of mindset, I need you guys to be reading your contracts properly. Make sure you are protecting yourselves in everything that you go into. I know sometimes when you're going through a lot, um, oh, you're at work. Hey, <laughs> Dr. Catherine, you know, you must tell me what it is that you do because we were looking for experts who are going to uh, direct us and help us grow. So Wednesday, we chat more. So I would love to know what you're doing woman of god and um so that i can um let me just do the hi again yeah i have followed you back so um i want to know how we can benefit from what god has put inside your heart as well okay so yeah guys please read your contracts and make sure you don't give up you don't give out um, I'm going to pray for everybody who's believing God for a job now. I'm going to pray for all the businesses. You're going to succeed in Jesus' mighty name. May you receive the favor of God and may you receive the favor of men in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for every single person that is on this broadcast right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for Angel uh, Rivera's uh, meeting that he's going to have. Father, he's going to have a productive meeting in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, may doors of opportunity open up for him him in that business that they will be conducting for the lithium i pray also for glitz and glamour father god i pray for expansion that the tourism business will explode in jesus mighty name father i pray for favorable conditions in the countries that they are represented in and father god that more people will go into those countries and i pray for every single person that has wanted to even go into the tourism industry my god lord help them uh lord to 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 assist each other and to to come together as christians father god and expand father i pray also for bright hope investments in jesus mighty name i pray for their water tank business lord that customers should come and they should expand in jesus mighty name i pray for annelise struck lane africa his head brokership father god expand your father god i thank you for her children father god they shall know no lack in jesus mighty name expand him mightily in jesus mighty name father god grant him more favor father god and i pray for boots's company my god may she get more clients for a tutoring business father god in jesus mighty name i pray for all the academic students that are going to come for her coaching sessions my god and lord that it will help expand and father god that they will be empowered to choose the right career paths and everything else that they are looking forward to i pray for pastor moses business in uganda my god his consulting business father god may there be expansion oh god may they get customers for their properties and the cars that they are selling in jesus mighty name father i just want to thank you and appreciate you for your great mercies upon our lives in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray for everybody on facebook as well i've not forgotten you i see your comments there i thank the lord on your behalf and i stand in the gap and i say the promises of god which are yes and amen they shall come to pass in jesus mighty name concerning your life the 
the mercies and the promises of God shall be magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Even for you guys who are on TikTok, the promises of God shall be magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you that you have great thoughts towards our lives in Jesus' mighty name. All glory belongs to you, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I pray for everybody who's represented on this broadcast, Lord, that they may receive your strength and wisdom that you have given them. And as they continue to worship you, my God, Lord, you are expanding their horizon. You are expanding their territories in Jesus' mighty name. May there be a good and great place that you have prepared for them. May the doors of opportunity and favor open for them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, that everything is working out for their good. Even though they might have lost jobs, Father God, that you are opening up a season of favor for them in Jesus' mighty name. They are going to be blessed, my God. They are blessed in the city. They are blessed in the field. They are blessed everywhere they will go in Jesus' mighty name. Doors of opportunities are opening up for them in Jesus' mighty name. Concerning every person who's looking for a job, I decree and I declare that jobs are opening up for you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will cause open doors to open up for you. Those of you who are believing God for breakthroughs financially, right now I decree and I declare that great financial blessings are coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every hindrance that has been coming against your employment right now, it is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every evil manipulation, every satanic agent that has been orchestrating confusion in your workplace, trying to take your jobs away from you. I'm remembering that person who made that special request. I speak to that specific situation in Jesus' mighty name. And anybody who is experiencing the same thing right now, any form of witchcraft, my God, is being destroyed right now. Any hindrance, whether it is by from the spirit realm, or whether from a physical realm, the Lord is removing every single hindrance, every form of witchcraft spirit that is trying to hinder you in Jesus' mighty name. It is removed, Father God. Father, I declare and I decree none of the people that are on this broadcast will miss their way, my God, because you have made every crooked place, every crooked path, my God, straight in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I decree and I declare that they will not perish due to lack of knowledge. Help them to gather the knowledge that they require, my God, the knowledge that they require even when they go to interviews, my God, that favor shall be upon their lives in Jesus' mighty name to fulfill the plan that you have for them in the jobs and the industries that they are going into in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I declare and I decree they are moving from one level to the next. They are shifting up levels in Jesus' mighty name. Father, there will be those who are bringing solutions to people's problems. The Lord will set you apart and make you a person who will bring solutions to people's problems in Jesus' mighty name. I, th I, I speak great favor on you in Jesus' mighty name. I speak great favor for a, in front of everybody who will be giving you that interview in front of that panel that person who's sitting with your cv that person who's receiving your cv i command favor upon you right now in jesus mighty name your application your documents shall receive favor in the name of jesus christ against any other person who might be an opponent or who might be shortlisted you will be the strongest candidate in jesus mighty name the holy mm -hmm. spirit will make a way for you in jesus mighty way those of you who are in your jobs who are working Working hard and you are being good and you are doing your best the holy spirit will be your advocate at all times and will teach you to do all things in things that you don't even understand in your workplaces the lord will help you the holy spirit will help you and teach you in jesus mighty name by your mercies my god i thank you lord i come against every negative word that might have been spoken over their lives right now in jesus mighty name i decree and i declare it is their season for laughter i decree and i declare that it is their season for lucrative jobs to find them in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you, Lord. I give you honor and all the glory and all the adoration goes to you, Abba Father. I say, my God, we shall know no lack in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. All the glory goes to you, my God. Every single person that is on this broadcast, they shall be irresistible everywhere they go in Jesus' mighty name. They will have good jobs. They will provide for their families. I thank you, Lord, for answered prayer in Jesus' mighty name and the saints of God shall a resounding amen and amen and amen. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle Mara is trying to intimidate me. He wants to take over. Guys, please go and take a, a cup of tea and come back on the broadcast in the next 20 minutes, 10 p.m. He's going to be going and, and preaching as well. Okay. I love you guys. I have to sign off. I don't even have even grace. He wants the equipment. He wants to go for his broadcast. 10 p.m. My bio, um. 
my TikTok will be live because he also uses my TikTok as well to broadcast. I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mom, uh, Jester, how's Australia today? Uh, Dr. Catherine, I love you. Thank you so much for honoring and you are waking up still. You are on my broadcast even in the morning. My God, I don't know. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> Listen to that whistle. They're telling me it's time out. Mom, Sophie. Apostle is just violent with me. God bless you guys. Thank you so much, guys. See you in a few minutes again for Apostle Morrison.